and uh, Antoinette Powell is on deck. Please proceed. Got a video I think he's loading. Okay, this video is from the March for Trump this past March 4th with the sound turned down so you can hear me. If you really want to, you can view it in full on Alex Jones's YouTube channel. I wouldn't give it any publicity, but you, it's got a camera angle that you won't see anywhere else from the center of their rally. There's a group of anti-Trump protesters on the sidewalk. It's not showing it yet, but the Trumpsters decide to go kick their asses, which you'll see on the video. One of the protesters, Kid O'Connell, a prominent LGBT activist in Austin, is assaulted and then arrested by APD. He's still recovering from the initial assault, being roughed up by APD, and he's still facing assault charges in county court in spite of this obvious evidence of what really happened. Mayor and council members, this is unacceptable in a modern progressive city like Austin. We'd prefer to simply have a politically unbiased police department who would have seen an assault in progress and not arrested the victim. If we're, if we're going to have biased police department, let it at least be biased towards political views of the majority of citizens and taxpayers, not a goon squad for the Trump and InfoWars crowd. I'm asking that Chief Brian Manley not be appointed full-time chief and that the council instead search for a candidate who supports the morals and ethics of the city of Austin. And then I'll add, yeah, to what I had already planned on saying, APD has started harassing both Julian Reyes and Philip Turner this week. You know, Philip was around midnight last night and Julian was Tuesday morning. Both of these guys value their civil rights. They have good lawyers. So when the APD lawsuits start rolling in, don't act like you didn't know this, that this was going on or that you're good stewards of the taxpayers' money. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker we have is uh, uh, Antoinette 